Hello everybody, I'm Frank Cubed, and in this video for Mario Maker 2, I'm going to play through this level. So let's get started. For this level, I'm going to show you how to grab a gang of coins and step you through the puzzly type scenarios. So first, we'll adorn our bone armor so we can bounce off these ghosts to reach the high placed coin. And now I'm going to shove three shells into the lava. Have I gone mad, you might ask? No, I am simply clearing a path so I can push a fourth shell into the lava so I can open up this plant box way over here. Now we're going to ride the plant like a pony to this pipe. After we soak in the applause, we're going to hop into the dead shell and then launch ourselves at the P button to reveal coins that we shall stylishly collect by bopping the pal. Once we collect the coins, we are going to drop down and enter the monster's ink door. From this room, the first thing we'll do is hop the shell over and then abandon it for a newer, younger one. Now we'll hop the new shell over and use it to bounce off the old like a trampoline. Once we are on the upper platform, we can collect the first red key coin. Now we're going to drop back down to line ourselves up with this edge so we can jump off and then jettison the shell to propel ourselves at the red coin and back up to safety. We'll now grab the last coin by taking refuge inside another shell so we can jump atop the question box to perform our fake death to push the plant out, which we'll use to climb down to collect another red coin. And now just for fun, we'll collect this one up just before we unlock the door. After the checkpoint, we are now tested with a timing puzzle where we have to smack a falling shell towards the right to collect the 30 cent coin. This room will challenge our skill at playing possum at just the right time. So first, we will play dead so Sir Stomps will harmlessly pass through. We'll now use our dead attack to free up another one up. And then now we're going to use our hard shell to bounce off the spinner to reach the fall blocks above. Once we settle on this fall block, we shall fall with it and then go limp just above the deli slicer so we can collect this key. For this room, we will turn our back to the ghost, showing it great disrespect. Then, we will kill the ghost when it floats above the grinder, so the muncher can get tossed to the middle plane. With a direct path established, we will slide the shell into the pal to knock off the munchers to make our exit. After we touch the checkpoint, we will dip our toes into the lava and wait for the spike bar to retract to its first stop. We'll then move forward to perform a full jump in the shell and a mid jump out of the shell to grab the 50 piece while narrowly avoiding death from above and guiding our fall back into the bone boat below. And now we'll move back to the left platform to strategically push another shell into the lava. When we reach the spike bar lane, we will hop over the empty shell and then launch stop off of it to the axable bridge. But don't burn that bridge just yet, cause there's some coins up above. And now, with that done, it's time to chop like Paul Bunyan. 
And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Thanks for watching.